what's going on guys? So a few years ago I made and uploaded a video uh, about how to identify the Lepombus genus sunfish in uh, the United States. And that video did very well. It's actually my most popular video. And I'm glad I was able to help a lot of people identify fish. Um, but I still see a lot of uh, fish online posted, sunfish posted online that are misidentified um, or that people can't identify not because they can't identify the species, it gets a little bit more complicated, um, but because the fish is actually a hybrid. So I figured I'll make kind of like a, a, a continuation of that video in part two here, which is going to be how to identify um, hybrid sunfish. So before we get into how to identify hybrid sunfish, very quickly I would like to talk about what are hybrid sunfish. So uh, a hybrid essentially is uh, a, an organism whose parents are two different species. Uh, so when we're talking about hybrid sunfish, if two bluegills have a baby, the baby's gonna be a bluegill. But if the parents are a, let's say a bluegill and a pumpkin seed, well, the, the baby's gonna be a bluegill pumpkin, pumpkin seed hybrid. Now, generally in order to form a hybrid, uh, the two parents have to at least be, well, they have to be in the same genus. So. Taxonomy isn't an exact science. Uh, it's being, it's continuously being redeveloped, especially now with uh, DNA testing. Animals are constantly being moved from one genus, genus to another. Uh, what used to be is the same species is now getting split into two different ones. So it, it's not a hard rule because animals could move move genuses or genus I. I don't know what the plural of genus is, but generally speaking. Uh, in order to be able to have a hybrid, the parents have to be uh, of the same genus. So thankfully in our case, when we're talking about the sunfish, all of them are in the same genus. That is the Lepomus genus. And it's a little difficult to identify them sometimes because it, they do look confusing. They have generally a lot of features of both parents. And sometimes when you look at it, it looks more like one than the other. So it is a little, little tough. So... I don't really have any set rules for identifying hybrids, uh, but what I would like to do is show you a couple pictures of some hybrid sunfish, uh, point out the features of them, uh, kind of which features belong to which parent, and why it looks to be a hybrid of those two species. Uh, so hopefully when I show you that, you'll be able to kind of teach yourself uh, when you look at a hybrid sunfish, oh, this part looks like a bluegill, this part looks like a pumpkin seed, so it's probably going to be a bluegill pumpkin seed hybrid. They're not all as easy. Some are pretty obvious, uh, but not all of them. And another really good way to help you kind of narrow down the possibilities right from the start is by location. So not all sunfish are found all over the United States. Uh, if you take New Jersey, for example, my home state, up there I believe we have green sunfish, uh, bluegills, pumpkin seeds, red breasts, and I think that's it. So if there's a fish that looks um, like a hybrid, you basically got four options to narrow down to. And I'll show you some uh, hybrids that I did catch in New Jersey. So that makes it a little bit easier. If you can narrow down which fish are found in that area naturally, you're going to have an easier time uh, figuring out what it is a hybrid of instead of trying to narrow down from uh, the entire genus right from the start. Um, I've also noticed that in, let's say, creeks and river systems where, where the water is moving, um, hybrids occur, occur, occur uh, more often. I think that's just because of the moving water. It'll move the eggs and the sperm a little bit better uh, from nest to nest. Because if you've, if you've seen sunfish beds, a lot of them are in uh, close proximity to another. And that moving water probably just moves around the eggs and the sperm a little bit uh, easier, creating some inverted hybrids. But um, yeah, so let's go ahead. Let's get into the pictures. Some of them look really nice. Some of them are pretty obvious, some of them are not so obvious. So let's go ahead and do that right now. All right, so let's take a look at our first hybrid sunfish. So this is one I caught two summers ago in New Jersey out of Lake Hapakang. Uh, I caught it in an area where a lot of sunfish were spawning and I was catching a lot of red breast sunfish and once in a while I'd get a bluegill. And kind of based not only on that, but based on the fact that there are four sunfish found in New Jersey, and based on the looks of this guy, this looks to be a red breast uh, 
crossed with a bluegill, so a red breast bluegill hybrid. If you look at the ear flap, it's a little bit elongated like red breast have. If you look at the stomach area, it's red like red breast have, except here it's a lot more pronounced. Uh, however, if you look at the body, red breast sunfish do not have those kind of vertical bars that this fish have. That uh, sorry, that this fish has. That is something that bluegills have. Bluegills have those vertical bars. And then if you look at the uh, kind of the, the jaw area, uh, red breast sunfish also don't have that blue on the jaw. They usually just have like one or two little thin blue bands. These bands are a lot thicker. There's a lot more blue on the jaw, just like a bluegill has. So based on all these physical features as well as uh, where I caught this fish, I am very, very confident that this is a uh, red breast bluegill hybrid. All right, let's look here at hybrid sunfish number two. So this is one I also caught in New Jersey uh, a couple months ago out of a little creek up in northern New Jersey. Uh, before we get into the physical features, uh, just like the last one, I caught that red breast bluegill hybrid in between a bunch of pure red breast and pure bluegill catches. Uh, this one I caught uh, kind of mixed in between a lot of green sunfish and a couple pumpkin seeds. And that's what this one looks like. This looks to be a green sunfish, uh, pumpkin seed sunfish hybrid. So if you look at the physical features, number one, it's a little bit more elongated uh, like green sunfish are. If you look at the accents on the fins, there's that like really bright, bright orange, which male green sunfish have. Then if you look at the ear flap... Uh, it is bordered in white with a little bit of red like pumpkin seeds have. Uh, the mouth area, there are some rather thick blue lines which pumpkin seeds have. Green sunfish don't have that. They have really, really thin blue lines. And if you look at the body, uh, there's a pretty good amount of those orange dots that pumpkin seed sunfish also have. So based on all of that, this one looks to be a uh, green sunfish pumpkin seed sunfish hybrid. All right, so these next three sunfish are not mine. I would like to thank Zach Alley for sending me the pictures. So I don't know where they were caught, so we can't talk about range or the kind of fish that it was caught with. Uh, so here we just got kind of got to look at the physical features. Uh, this one, I think, is somewhat simple. Uh, it's a green sunfish bluegill hybrid. Uh, if you look at the fins, it has that yellow-orange margin, just like the last fish had. Uh, that's something that green sunfish have. Look at the ear flap, uh, very, very thin uh, white and uh, red margin, something green sunfish also have. Uh, this, this fish does have a little bit of a larger mouth than uh, a typical bluegill or pumpkin seed or something like that would, and green sunfish do have fairly large mouths. And if you look at the, uh, the, the blue lines below the eye, kind of right behind the mouth, that's something that uh, green sunfish have, but they are very thin. Uh, here they're a little bit thicker, and a lot of times when you have a hybrid uh, of a green sunfish, it, it does have those lines, but for some reason they just become even a little bit thicker, even if the thing that it is hybrid, uh, hybridized with doesn't necessarily have those lines. And if you look at the body shape, it's fairly round, not as elongated as a pure green sunfish. Uh, so Zach said this was a bluegill green sunfish hybrid. And I tend to believe that, at least based on the physical features. So, nice looking hybrid here. Here is a, another hybrid sunfish, courtesy of Zach. The, this one just looks really, really good. Um, so, he said this is an orange spotted crossed with a pumpkin seed, uh, which I've never seen before. I've actually never caught an orange spotted sunfish before, so I got to do that at some point too. Um, anyway, so if we look at the uh, physical features, it does have all these orange dots along the body, but it's not the kind of dots that a pumpkin seed would have. It's more like the kind of dots that an orange spotted sunfish would have. Um, if you look at the margin around the gill flap, uh, pumpkin seed has a thin uh, white with that little bit of red. Orange spotted have that little bit thicker white. So there's your um, characteristic of an orange spotted sunfish. And if you look at the mouth, it does have these kind of thicker um, thicker blue lines, which pumpkin seeds have. So not knowing where this was caught or having any other kind of information, just kind of visually looking at it, it does look like an orange spotted uh, crossed with a pumpkin seed. 
And if we look at the third uh, hybrid sunfish picture that I got from Zach, this looks like, uh, actually before I tell you what it looks like, he called this a warm mouth crossed with a pumpkin seed. Uh, again, not knowing the area that it came from, you just kind of got to look at the physical features, and it does look like that. So uh, it does have a larger mouth, which warm mouths have. If you look at the belly portion, it has that kind of orangish red color, which warm mouths also have. Uh, if you look at the ear flap, it's got that thin white margin with a little bit of red, which warm mouths have. But pumpkin seeds do also have that as well. But the red margin is a little bit larger. Pumpkin seeds have a very, very uh, small amount of red on there. However, uh, it does have some vertical uh, bars, which I don't believe warm mouths have. Uh, but pumpkin seeds do have that from time to time. And if you look at the body shape, uh, warm mouths are a little bit elongated, a lot like green sunfish. Pumpkin seeds are more kind of circular in shape. So definitely has features of both. It would be great to know where this fish was caught just because that would help a lot uh, with the identification. But even without knowing that, just going visually, it does look like a warm mouth pumpkin seed hybrid. All right, now I saved this one for last. So this is uh, one of my catches. I caught this um, on a tributary of the White River in Indiana this past summer. And I saved this one for last because I'm not exactly sure what it is. Uh, so there are a lot of sunfish I caught um, in this creek. There were, I believe, green sunfish, long ear sunfish, um, bluegill. I don't remember exactly what else, um, but... I'm sure that it is at least part green sunfish based on the larger mouth and the elongated body. Uh, however, I'm not sure what the other one is. So sometimes one fish's features are more prominent than the other. In this case, the green sunfish definitely sticks out more. The other one, I'm not sure. I, I believe it might be part long ear, uh, maybe like a male green times a or crossed with a female long ear, but I'm not really sure. So sometimes you'll run into this problem. Uh, I showed this to a lot of other people that are pretty good at identifying sunfish, and I got a lot of mixed answers as well. So sometimes you just won't know. Um, but if you have any opinions on this one, I would love to hear it. Definitely part green sunfish, but who knows what the other part is. So yeah, I, I hope this video helps. Um, if you ever run into a hybrid sunfish, hopefully you can just kind of break it down uh, based one on location where you caught it so you can narrow it down. And then just looking at some of the features, try to pinpoint which features belong to which fish, see which yours has, and go from there. But yeah, hope you guys liked it. I will see you next time.